Sadie, I really can't. I insist. Insist all you like. surrounded by marshland should hopefully give us a bit of cover and move in close enough to find our spot and look for John. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Yeah. How many times, Marston? Arthur, let's keep moving. Where is Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. I'm sorry, ma'am. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. There. They're not going to let you do this. Well, that's going to be up to you, my friend. So, are you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Hold your fire! <laughs> okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! <laughs> Today's your lucky day. Let's go. <laughs> We've got to move. Come on. We can't keep this up. Let's move. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. Today's your lucky day. Let's go! <laughs> We've got to move. Come on! We can't keep this up. Let's move! here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about the, the money? Lost oh, somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait. You're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. He said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. <laughs> Guess not. Told you we
Thank you so much. Well, we ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems. To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. <laughs> so why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out, and he... he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal? some noise, and then we're gone.
This wasn't a revenge mission. It wasn't. Reverend? You okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. Got enough folks coming after us. Without adding an arm to this. Walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. <laughs> Getting involved in this, Dutch. You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. 
not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the Army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the Army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. There's Peta. These men, like... We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently. Order. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Try not to kill him. Try not to kill him. Confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Okay. These will follow me. There are more up river.
seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. Just can't get any more involved in this business, Charles. It's Girl? Yeah. Long Morgan. Shut up. What? All right, let's go. Have fun, boy. Mike says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. Anyway, you were saying. <sighs> the pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Hold! Oh! Okay, let's hold up here. So, the wagon will be coming from... down from Annisburg. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead.
stop doing. Oh, okay. I don't see any more. All right. Huh. Oh, that was close. I don't reckon I'm cut out to be a dynamite wagon driver. <laughs> Killing a bunch of folks so we can rob some dynamite, blow up a bridge. Does this make any sense to you? It's a distraction. So it ain't meant to make sense. It should to us. It's our plan. You know, I've had it with the moment. Look, there's Mike up ahead. Great. Whoa! So, you got it? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. This way. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Oh. Thank you for doing this, both of you. Ain't a problem. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I'm not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld. How can we not view that as something personal? How can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Uh, perhaps. There's an army captain, Lyndon Monroe who was seconded here from a regiment in the north, sent by Washington, a good man. He'll be at the meeting and he knows the true situation. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. This way.
Colonel Favors, Captain Monroe, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. You know, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um... Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh... I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does... Favors care about the Indians. Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your man violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States. I don't want to kill this man, but shall... Get off me. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. Get out of here. You son of a bitch. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here.
Captain Monroe, you're with me. That just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? <coughs> can't worry about that now. I guess I won't be submitting my report. <coughs> Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? Been a long time. So, what are you aiming for today? Yeah, careful with the pages. Well, all right. This will be here when you need it. It's beautiful condition. Keep it up. Keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. You thought about upgrading the stock? I got some nice ones.
Thank you. Really. Been a while. Guess you've been keeping in good health, huh? Feel free to browse. Now, let's have a look. Done. Oh, thanks, Doc. Let's go, girl. I bet that horse cost you a lot. Me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day. Or well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis shoots you. I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. Y'all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it, as far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Well, we got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Hey. 
good. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. How's everything? The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey, you know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. He's turned down there. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. Let's go. Quiet. What's it look like? A bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Always up on the roof. And once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So? They got a guy up on the roof, overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. Unity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. Morgan, you hear us? Take a shot on these old Driscolls. get on, Arthur. Well, we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. 
A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but... Their situation is real complex. We ain't helping. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. We don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Hurry, Arthur. I'll plant the dynamite. You run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. I sent for some of that dynamite you and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. So, you finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. Hurry, I think 
think I see some movement in the distance. Quick now, Arthur. Everyone into position. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, damn. Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay. They can use to strengthen our case. Find anything? Shit! Everyone!
Well, Captain, keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that now. It's a waste. We can't fight nature, Captain. We can't fight change. We can't... Oh, no. Thank you. 
Arthur. How you doing? Nervous, but... Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge, for Christ's sake. All right, stop. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. All right, let me know when you're ready. Got it? Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder, here to your left. Okay, you should be good there. I'm ready, come on. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. Hey, okay, good. Grab the other one. You're too far back. That's too far right. from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Okay to finish off down here? Sure. Go on. I can handle the rest. I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure.
Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh, he, he's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, yes. Oh, well, I can. He's in his tent. Sure. I'll wait for you here. Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. We need to get his son back, of course. Son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. I've been scouting around the fort. It won't be easy. In fact, it's downright stupid. But it might be possible. We won't be able to use any of the main routes in and out, but... If we're able to cross the river, there's a back way that should get us close enough to have a shot of getting in there. Sounds like a much better plan than mine. <coughs> Which ain't no plan at all. I also stashed a couple of small canoes downriver, in case we need another way out of there. We have to go in quiet, though. No guns. If they raise the alarm before we get to him, they'll never leave there alive. Okay. Whatever you say. <coughs> hey. That's enough talking. Save your energy. We still have a way to go. You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. Yeah, but we all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He never had any intention of helping those people. At this point, I ain't sure if he's got any intention of even getting us out of here. He could be stringing everyone along. But he's holding all the money. Ain't that crazy? You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on, don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... Saw it, Doc. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day, we can die. Hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? More vicious pair of bastards than ever was. 
My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. I'm here now because Dutch asked me to. I need to keep playing along with his plan until I find out where all that money's hidden. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. There it is. The rainsfall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. All right. This should be fun. All right. You ready? Yes. Keep down and follow me. Hopefully, we'll be in and out before they can come back around. Let's deal with those two at the gate first. Good. Let's make our way around the back. Get to the wall. There's a guard right above us. Hold up. Slow. It's a bit further on here. This is the spot. There's a guard coming. Back while I check the tower. Come on, we're good. Another one out there. You got him? I'll handle it. All right, good. The jail should be just down here.
Arthur Morgan? Charles, is that you? Got him.
Mrs. Z. You okay? <laughs> Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. Tell you what. Two still here. Oh. All right, let's ride out. What else have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. That didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? You've handed them a death sentence. Just like John if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey! Show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? Pinbuck 2? That's enough. What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah, what did? Thank you, Javier. Bill. Right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose. Because I am tired of this constant dissent. Long tired of it. Now come on. Look up ahead. It's one of them. Are you all right, son? Eagle flies. He needs help. They all need help. Quick. Somebody help. No. Him. No. Go. Please hurry. Help me. Come on.
join us. Hello, son. We need to find the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. We're done. We're almost free? Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on. Don't doubt me no more. Search the place. They gotta be here somewhere. I don't know. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. Go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this, about all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know, Dutch, Dutch is... I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. 
baby, I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turn crazy, and we couldn't believe it, and we followed him anyway. Things should never have gone this far. You seen the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Baby, but you... Your people deserve better. You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? Bring him to me. Must be new around here. Welcome. I have a good selection of quality weaponry in the catalog here. And anything you like, I can bring out for you. Okay, now. All I'll right. See. Take your time deciding. You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you put it. Well done. Ah, you have kept it perfectly maintained. I love to see that. Take care now. Well, at least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. Sand to me in an hour. Watch 
shit. We're robbing a train in the middle of a city? No. It's going to stop there, take on mail and water, let off some boys, head home on leave, and then it heads out. They know the bridge is gone, Black Lung. There'll be a patrol past Annisburg, waiting down by the river to collect the money. We sneak on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. John, you go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of saint -Denis. I'll go with him. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. I hid the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah, I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Should be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. Hey, get back on the horn. So you was just talking. Okay, it's in the back. Got it. All right, let's get this done. Hold up, Arthur. You think this is gonna work? Who knows? I don't trust nothing no more. <laughs> that mess in the oil factory? I swear he looked me in the eye and walked away. Like with me in the bank. But listen, Abigail just told me the money, it's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah, so much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Okay, well... Let's get through this job and make a plan. Get the money and get the hell out of here. You, Abigail, and Jack go live your life. And you? I reckon head out west, someplace dry. See if I can shake this goddamn cough. But first, we got one last train, John. One last train. ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, San Denis. Good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Maka? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Not much further now.
they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. Oh. God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. gonna be all right. We're gonna get Abigail out. Of course we are. Because we don't leave our own behind. That's what Dutch taught us. Well, seems his mind got changed on that idea. I remember one time, years ago, he let fly at me for robbing this house. Saying, that man was too poor. How taking from him was no different from the system we was fighting against. Now, he don't care who dies, so long as he and Micah hey. get rich off of him. Micah's a goddamn sickness. But, John said, Abigail knows where the money's hidden. If we can get to her in time, we might be able to get to it before they do. <coughs> Let's just get her out first. Say it, Mac. Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. Now, John, we have to put an end to this. <laughs> and Eagle Flies, another angry young fool he used, just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right. Me and you together. <laughs> What's left of it. Now, come on. Ditch the horses and come up with a plan.
Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. <laughs> Find the horses. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened to Jack? Where is he? He's fine. Uh, here we go. Uh, Thank God. Uh, <coughs> Abigail, you run mine. What are you doing? Get on, Arthur.
Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Everyone get down! This is it. Let's go, Joe! We need to get out of here! Milton told me. Die! 
Still got a little fight in you, have you, boy? Hope you're ready for hell. Can't even kill a dying man. This is where it ends for you. You've lost. All there is winning and losing. Oh, Black Lung, you ain't gonna reach that gun. You ain't. You lost, my sick friend. You lost. It is over. Now. What is it? It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Uh, Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. Uh, we won. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. <laughs> the rest of us. No. I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on! You're not better than me, Morgan. What do you say, you fool? Damn you. Damn us both!
to read, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel and Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pop. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What? I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Can you tell me that thing again? The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Blanche. Why don't you pull up just here? I think I was saying there's King Arthur. And there's Sir Blanche a lot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fellow's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Help you, son? Doctor. Hey! <laughs> Loaded up pretty good, Milton. Good. Much of a delivery boy. West past Owen Sheila, then follow the road north. Okay.
You Mr. Getty? Take that horse. <laughs> Go That's my damn wagon. Come back here. Thank you, Milton. <laughs>